Joseph Stalin, born as a Bissarionis Dis Jagashvili, rose from humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful and controversial figures of the 20th century. This comprehensive account traces his life journey from his birth in Gori, Georgia, in 1878 to his death in Moscow in 1953, spanning the tumultuous events of the Russian Revolution, the establishment of the Soviet Union, and the brutal realities of Stalinist dictatorship, early life and revolutionary beginnings, 1878 to 1917. Joseph Stalin was born on December 18th, 1878, to a poor family in the town of Gori, then part of the Russian Empire. His upbringing was marked by hardship and loss with his father, Bissarian Jagashvili. A cobbler and his mother, Ketivan Jolads, a housemaid, struggling to make ends meet. Stalin's early years were marred by illness and poverty, but he showed intelligence and ambition, excelling in school and becoming involved in revolutionary activities during his youth. In 1898, Stalin joined the fledgling Marxist movement and became a member of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, RSDLP. He quickly rose through the ranks of the party, becoming a key organizer and agitator. Stalin's early revolutionary activities led to his arrest and exile to Siberia multiple times, but he continued to strengthen his position within the party, rise to power within the Bolshevik Party, 1917-1924. The year 1917 proved to be a turning point in Stalin's life and in world history. The February Revolution toppled the Tsarist regime and paved the way for the establishment of a provisional government in Russia. Stalin returned to Petrograd, now St. Petersburg, from exile and aligned himself with the Bolshevik faction of the RSDLP, led by Vladimir Lenin. During the October Revolution of 1917, Stalin played a crucial role in organizing the Bolshevik seizure of power, helping to plan and execute the overthrow of the provisional government. In the aftermath of the revolution, Stalin was appointed People's Commissar for Nationalities, overseeing Soviet policies on ethnic minorities. Stalin's rise to power within the Bolshevik party continued in the years following the revolution. He held various leadership positions, including General Secretary of the Communist Party, which gave him significant influence over party appointments and organizational matters. Despite initially underestimating Stalin's ambitions, Lenin grew increasingly wary of his protégé's ruthless tactics and authoritarian tendencies, consolidation of power and Stalin's dictatorship, 1924-1939, Lenin's death in 1924 set off a power struggle within the Communist Party, with Stalin emerging victorious over his rivals, including Leon Trotsky and Nikolai Bukharin. By the late 1920s, Stalin had consolidated his grip on power and began implementing sweeping changes to Soviet society and economy. Stalin's policies, collectively known as Stalinism, aimed to transform the Soviet Union into a modern industrialized state through rapid industrialization and collectivization of agriculture. These policies, however, resulted in widespread hardship, famine, and repression, particularly in rural areas where millions perished as a result of forced collectivization and the ensuing famine known as the Holodomor. Stalin's regime also unleashed a wave of political purges and terror, targeting perceived enemies of the state, including former Bolsheviks, intellectuals, and ethnic minorities. The Great Purge of the 1930s resulted in the arrest, the imprisonment, and execution of hundreds of thousands of people. As Stalin sought to eliminate potential rivals and consolidate his totalitarian rule, World War II and the Cold War era, 1939-1953, the outbreak of World War II in 1939 brought the Soviet Union onto the world stage as a major player in international affairs. Stalin's regime initially signed a non-aggression pact with Nazi Germany, but the subsequent invasion of the Soviet Union by Hitler's forces in 1941 forced Stalin to align with the Allies. Under Stalin's leadership, the Soviet Union played a decisive role in the defeat of Nazi Germany, with the Red Army driving the Germans back from the Eastern Front and capturing Berlin in 1945. 
the Soviet victory in World War II solidified Stalin's status as a wartime leader and bolstered his domestic authority. However, the post-war period also saw the onset of the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the Western powers, particularly the United States. Stalin's regime engaged in ideological and geopolitical struggles with the West, leading to heightened tensions and the division of Europe into Eastern and Western blocs. Stalin's final years were marked by increasing paranoia and repression, as he intensified efforts to root out perceived internal and external threats to his regime. The Doctor's Plot, a fabricated conspiracy alleging a Jewish doctor-led plot to assassinate Soviet leaders, exemplified Stalin's penchant for scapegoating and persecution, death and legacy. Joseph Stalin died on March 5, 1953, at the age of 74, officially from a cerebral hemorrhage. His death marked the end of an era in Soviet history and set the stage for a period of uncertainty and transition within the Soviet leadership. Stalin's legacy remains deeply contested, with some viewing him as a ruthless dictator responsible for millions of deaths and untold suffering, while others see him as a strong leader who modernized the Soviet Union and led it to victory in World War II. Regardless of one's perspective, Stalin's impact on world history and the trajectory of the Soviet Union is undeniable, leaving a complex and enduring legacy that continues to shape perceptions of his rule and its consequences.